Bitcoin long and chill. We have had a lovely reaction from our critical level down there at 24,800. And with this great rise to the upside, I'll be telling you exactly what to be looking for next. And, you know, answering the question, is it yet time to short Bitcoin? OK, I currently, I will tell you, have not shorted this rise and I'm not in a short position yet. But I will be telling you when I am looking to take that next short trade. As it stands, I am long and chill. Uh, and I will be telling you where my next targets are and how to manage these open trades. Picking up where I left off my last video, where of course we had just seen the swing failure pattern of the low to give us the long trade entry, okay, off of, of course, that zone of 24,800. From here, I've been making it very clear, both in my group and also publicly. Of course, this has been a great level. So really simply long and chill. You know, this is posted back on the 17th. You know, long and chill. There's no need to overtrade this now in my Champions live stream. Also telling people why my bias is bullish and why I'm looking for new highs to be made. That was a nice little glimpse to give you right, to the public as well. You know, insane calls. We got to remain, you know, really simply long and chill. Bringing us up to where we are right now, just around $29,000. You know, those longs were taken, of course, from... 24,800 zone. Um, you know, I know a lot of people, okay, primarily those not in the champions group, right, would have been trying to short a lot of this upwards move. And that is why we get such a powerful move, right? This is a short squeeze. A lot of people, you know, view this as they want to short, they want to short, they want to short, really not understanding the bigger context that's gone on here. How we had that falling wedge, you know, how we had that three drives, how we had essentially the fake out of $25,000. And it's those, I want to say, maybe more emotional or less experienced traders that really help fuel the fire uh, of these short squeezes. OK, and of course, now you're going to start getting in a lot of FOMO. So, um, you know, it's very important to remain, you know, keep your emotions in check and trade the charts. OK, if you don't see the reactions at levels, stop shorting. Right, Just trade the charts long and chill. If there's no reason to short, just just don't do it. Right. Um, I had a lot of questions as well for my last video of how I recognize that at twenty four thousand eight hundred. So I'm just going to play a really quick 10 second clip just to get us all up to speed of what on what went on to bring us up to where we are right now okay so this was actually a champions live stream from the 21st so last month exactly one month ago today uh, of how i was recognizing this as the long trade setup off of 24,800. pay close attention to this because it's very uh, insightful you know this could come down fake out everybody gets ultra bearish below 25k to hit that weekly naked point of control reclaim and for the fake out right so I'd give it a little bit of leeway. I wouldn't look at this as an exact dollar just because I know we got a weekly naked point of control just below us there at 24,800. OK, so this was basically my thought process, you know, come down to 24,800, fake out below 25K. Because I know a lot of people were looking at 25 to 25,300 as like this really important level. OK, simply the SR flip. So my thought process is, okay, let's come down, fake out below that to hit the weekly naked point of control at 24,800. Since you reclaim that get level and get a large rise to the upside. So this was a month ago I was looking at this. Okay, then from here, okay, this was then, you know, just over one week ago, we were looking at this same scenario now with a little bit more data, still of now we had the falling wedge, okay, coming down, faking out to that NPOC before that large rise to the upside. And of course, then when we hit that naked point of control, we needed an entry trigger because, you know, pre-setting limit orders, very risky, right? So we come down, we see the level hit, then we wait for the swing failure pattern. Of course, that swing failure pattern is what gave us the long entry off of 24,800. So it was a simple case of waiting for that level to be hit, waiting for an executable long trade, which was the SFP, getting that SFP, entering those longs, and then it's simply long and chill, right? Long and chill. The levels that we're waiting for are seeing no reactions, so you remain long, okay, and simply keep trading the charts, right? So each level that I'm aware of, daily hit, no reaction, not going to short, okay? We're, we're through the channel high, not shorting yet. Wait for the reaction at the weekly, no reaction at the weekly, remain long and chill. Okay, I wake up this morning to telling my team, you know, all those that played alongside me, very well indeed, right? The levels that we've had, I've had no reactions, so let's remain long and chill. Myself and the champs, you know, absolutely managing to take the maximum amount of profit from this upwards roof. <laughs> and there's another little bit of take profit, right? So, you know, that's how we managed to get into those positions with those original ideas and thought processes. 
And then from those original thought processes and ideas of where we'll get the reversal, it's then waiting for the lower term time frame entry and then really simply remaining well, long and chill. So bringing us up to where we are here, it's trading at around 29K. As I, I, you know, I'm thinking here, we don't really have a lot of support that's built up. Why? Because we've had a very big move to the upside quickly. That does mean that there isn't a lot of support. And this is where you can get those bar patterns, so to speak, right? Which is essentially like a double distribution day. Uh, but, you know, you, you move up around here, you get a bit of, you know, resistance come in. You then see a reversal pattern to the downside. And basically that's just formed by these, you know, somewhat inefficiencies, quick moves to the upside, not creating a lot of support until where you'd have back down here at the NPOC, right? But as it stands, we are still in the middle of a short squeeze. We are seeing a very nice move to the upside. As I mentioned, I have not shorted this upwards move here. I'm not in a short position here. So what would I look for next to take a potential short trade? Well, I'd be looking for, well, we could simply see an SFP of this previous high, right? So the previous high here onto the monthly, you know? Alternatively, I've got this zone of around 29,600, which is a I'll show you here this really nice fixed range um, pull of the merged TPO profiles coming in at around 29,200, right? So we've got this really nice zone of the daily to the monthly here uh, where we do have some decent confluence. And again, it's like I've been telling my team, if you don't see the reaction, okay, do not short it. You know, this is a very big sign of strength at the moment. So long and chill is the thing to be doing right now. OK, so it's very important that when these levels are hit, you are looking at the order flow, OK, that you are reading the order flow. The main things that I would be looking at here is the H&L, the time and the trade counts. You want to be here on a very low term time frame. I've got this on the 10 million volume chart. I will occasionally be switching this down to the three to five million volume. OK, so I'm getting more candles in quickly. But essentially, I'll be looking at the order flow as we hit that level. Switch between this and our standard order flow, right? Where we can be looking at the rec candles too but i'll be looking at here at the order flow to make a very informed decision of is this a reaction worth shorting because as it stands we are in a short squeeze shorts are not the most profitable trade so we have to be very picky of when we're going to take a trade or not you know if you struggle with reading this well that's why it's you know pretty helpful to have the updates from the group because i will alert you if we have a you know somewhat of a weak reaction and i take that short but as it stands it's not happened all the way since twenty four thousand, <laughs> and uh you know as it stands I am not in a short and I will still look for higher. So if we do not get any bearish reaction from these levels, we'll be looking back above $30,000. Okay, wow, what a what a, what a a few weeks this has been, right? From 24 all the way back up to potentially 30 there. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not get ultra bullish. At the end of the day, we can trade the charts. And if we start to see weakness, whether it's above us and getting the reaction, my preferred scenario, or weakness and losing market structure. If we were to, for example, just do this boom i would miss the short trade and yes i would throw away profit because i'm not taking profit here either and i've not entered a short so if we fall down from here i would have to say yep i missed that trade so of course my preferred scenario is to reach up for higher prices get that test get that reaction make an informed decision if i see the bearish signs looking at the order flow then i will execute and take that short trade but as it stands for me long and chill trading the charts and making some wonderful profit along with the champs if you want to get involved on this if you want these higher term time frame swing trade updates then that's what you get every week in the champions and then for the intraday day trades that's also where you get the setups in the daily live streams so whether you want daily updates trading updates live trading uh the theory the knowledge you know we got everything that you need to become a successful profitable trader OK, a one stop shop for literally everything inside of the trading space. Uh, so I <laughs> hope that you enjoy that. Make use of it. And um, yeah, I'll catch you inside the champions group where you can enjoy absolute wonderful profits rolling in right now. Hope that you've all enjoyed the recent calls, the recent trades. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see this winning streak continue. Cheers, team. Thank you. And uh, yeah, if you want more, you know where to get it. Chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.